Well, what's up, everybody? I'm Pumpin' Pete. And DJs are not jukeboxes. So DMCs are important for many different reasons. I mean, I think um, the culture of turntablism has changed its landscape over the years, and I think it's kind of lost a little bit of its teeth. And it's important that it especially gets in like the big city areas, the Midwest, you know. I mean, obviously New York has always had a, had a great presence with DMC, but we've lost it here for a long time. And I think it's important for a turntable culture, you know. We've, Midwest is now starting to evolve where we're almost getting more into all of the controllers and the, um, the work smarter, not harder theory of DJing, you know. And, and I think it's a testament to you know, technology, and uh, DMC will kind of keep the organicness of turntablism that we love so much intact. Hot. Hot damn, I'm great. I'm on the court. The, the 90 and the 91 were both U.S. finals, but the 91 was especially... Um, you know, memorable for me because it was, you know, we had so many greats. We had, you know, we had Qbert, we had Rectangle, we had Steve D. And we were all just kids. Like, we were all hanging out for the better part of that entire weekend, just like, you know, um, not knowing each other's skill set, not knowing who each other was. You know, imagine sitting in a room next to Qbert, having a little scratch session, shooting a video commercial for MTV, hanging out, going to lunch, not even knowing who he was, right? Or who he was going to become, you know? And at the time, we were, it was like, you know, something that was still all new. We had no idea what we were doing. We all had a love for turntablism and scratching and beat juggling and stuff like that, but we didn't know what it would evolve into. All we wanted to do was win it, or at least be on the video. You know, once you were on that VHS, and then, you know, three months later, that thing shot around the world. It was like, you could basically go anywhere and people would recognize you. And it, and, and it was amazing. Like, it was an amazing time. ideal set is like six minutes of entertainment that is chained together perfectly with peaks and valleys that keep your set as suspenseful as a blockbuster movie you know so the transitions are equally as important as the actual act of beat juggling or the scratch peak of your set you know it's everything it's the spoken word intermittent with the tone play mixed in with the transition into you know this this opus of you know peak turntablism scratch set you know that that puts it over the top and then closing the deal so you know by minute four you probably have already won the battle if you've done your homework the right way for me as a judge and as a turntablist you know and if you haven't Go back and rethink your set a little bit and make sure that the last two minutes are just a signature on top of the signature, right? The, the, the candle on top of the cake, not the icing. The icing comes at minute four, right? The candle and you light it on fire comes at minute six. Where you actually can finish your set at like five minutes, 30 seconds and, and drop the mic and walk away, so to speak, you know? I'm <laughs> Shot out.